Now, 800 CHAB presents Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. Greg Marcinick's turn on Ask the Expert Heritage Insurance. Greg, let's talk about this. I don't know if any of our listeners are going to admit it, but everybody's got a story about tailgating and tailgaters. It can be really irritating when somebody's tailgating you. It's something you want to keep in mind before you tailgate somebody else, but it's dangerous. Oh, it is, Rob. Uh, It's not only infuriating, but it's very dangerous. In fact, tailgating increases the odds of a rear-end collision, and it's also the most common multiple crash. Uh, Following too closely is a factor uh, where there's, in Saskatchewan alone, there's over a thousand collisions every year, and on average, these collisions actually result in over 400 injuries and on average one death annually so it is very serious so as a driver it's important to know how much space you should leave between uh, your vehicle and the one ahead of you and there's several factors uh, that determine this first of all there's your speed secondly there's road condition as well as uh, vehicle mechanical condition and tires and also the driver's physical state so there's a lot of factors when it comes to how far you should be maintaining between yourself and the vehicle in front of you so uh, you are responsible for maintaining a safe following distance from that vehicle so that you have enough time to stop in an emergency to avoid these collisions a great rule of thumb is to leave a minimum of three seconds between your vehicle and the one in front of you. So if you see a sign or a tree, just count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. And that's how you can judge yourself. And again, there's a lot of other factors, such as uh, vehicles. Like it's not totally universal. Uh, if you're following a motorcycle, the motorcycle is a far cry lighter and they stop a lot quicker. So I would recommend giving yourself more than that three seconds. The other thing is be very cautious around heavy vehicles because uh, they take longer to stop and uh, it's dangerous to pull out too quickly and pull in too quickly and you may be shortening the gap between you so again you've got to really be careful now what do you do unfortunately when a vehicle does come up and they are right on your bumper the best thing is rather than accelerate which a lot of people will do because that's going to get you close to a vehicle in front of you is is just slow down and let that vehicle pass. The other thing is when you're on the Trans Canada pull over the slower traffic should be on the right hand side so you know that's the other thing there's always people in a hurry or they're a little quicker so you should just pull over and let those vehicles pass so again be very cautious out there because it is very dangerous when you are tailgating or when you are being tailgated so again just words of caution. You know what I really hate getting tailgated is in school zones. You're going 38, 40 kilometers per hour through a school zone, and there's somebody right on your tail, and you can see them in the rearview mirror. They're they're asking you, why aren't you going faster? Because I don't want to kill a child, right? Well, that's right, and that's even more so because kids will be running out. So just take your time. You're never in that big of a rush that you should just leave that three-second lead between you and that vehicle in front. That way, nobody's going to get hurt, and we'll all get home safe. Just thinking about it, and I'm irritated now, Greg. I can I can sense that, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Tailgating, don't do it. Some uh, some words of wisdom from Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance. We can find these tips and get all our insurance needs covered uh, online or in person. That's right. NoHassleInsurance.ca under our blogs as well. Just come on down, corner of Fairford and First, and talk to any of our fine people here. This has been Ask the Expert on 800-CHAB.